Many times, important decisions are made while working in the field. Fortunately, BIM 360 makes it easy to review a project's plan sheets and supporting files using a smartphone or tablet. In this session, we'll take our first look at the BIM 360 mobile app. Let me mention that this app is available for iOS and Android devices, and it represents a one-stop shop for accessing and collaborating on BIM 360 projects using a mobile device. For this example, I will be running the app on an iPad. I'll start by tapping the icon to launch the application. I will then tap Sign In and enter my credentials. Once signed in, I'll find the name of the current project at the top of the interface. In this case, the project is called NYC Site. For this example, I'd like to work in the Kensington Square project. To do that, I'll tap to open the menu in the upper left, and I'll tap the Projects setting to see a list of the projects of which I am a member. From here, I'll tap Kensington Square to load that project. As you can see, it defaults to a thumbnail view of the Plans directory, where we can see the latest plan sheets for this project. The button in the upper right can be used to toggle between a list view and thumbnail view of the sheets. Tapping a sheet will open it in the viewer. I can then review the sheet by pinching inward or outward to zoom, or by dragging a single finger to pan. Tapping the arrows in the lower right, you can jump to the previous or next sheet in the plan set. Using the buttons in the upper right, you can access the Markups or Issues pane, which work very similar to the browser version of BIM 360 Docs. You can also hide or display the markups or issues. Using the remaining toggle, you can review or select recently viewed sheets. When finished with a sheet, simply tap the Close button in the upper left to return to the Plans folder view. This is where I should mention that we are not limited to viewing just plan sheets. If I tap the Project Files folder, I can view its directory structure. Let's navigate into the Correspondence folder, and then I'll select the Morty Hackett Share directory that we made in the last session. From here, I'll tap the P Lots drawing to open it. Notice that we can navigate the file much like a PDF. Once again, I'll tap the Close button to exit, and I'll tap the Topo drawing to open that file. To see a 3D view of this surface, I'll tap the icon in the upper right and choose Document Navigation. I will then tap 3D View. Now, if I drag my finger, I can orbit the drawing. And just like in the browser version, if I double tap to select an object, I can orbit around its center. When finished reviewing the drawing, I'll tap the Close button to exit. And then I'll tap the Back button to return to the top level, where I'll reselect the Plans directory. As you can see, the BIM 360 mobile app works very similar to the browser-based version. In fact, the mobile app can also be used to create markups and issues when out in the field. Let's try that. We'll assume I'm conducting a site visit for this project, and I've noticed that some of the required sediment traps are missing. As a result, one of the flared end sections is filling up with debris. To resolve this problem, I'm going to create an issue. I'll start by opening the Soil Erosion and Sediment Control Plan, and then I'll zoom to the area of interest. I will then tap the Issues button and tap to place a push pin on the sheet. Since I'm using a mobile device, I can take advantage of the Voice to Text feature to add a title and description to this issue. No stormwater protection in this area. Lack of sediment traps is causing storm sewer to be filled with debris. I will then tap to assign this issue to Jerry Bartles, and then I'll tap Due Date, and we'll say this needs to be taken care of by tomorrow. Now, notice the camera icon at the bottom of the issue. I can also use the camera on my mobile device to add images to this issue if I want to. For this example, I'll tap the camera, and then I'll take a picture of the flared end section. I will then tap Done, and Attach Photo to Issue. Finally, I'll tap Create to complete the issue. At this point, the issue has been logged to the project, and Jerry has been notified of the work that needs to be done. I can then tap the Close button to close this plan sheet. Now, if you'll indulge me, I'd like to take a quick field trip so we can see how this issue would look from Jerry's perspective. He happens to be working in the office today. On Jerry's screen, we can see the email notification for the issue that was assigned to him. Clicking View the Issue will take him to the BIM 360 project and display the issue on screen. From here, he can review the issue description and due date. There is a hyperlink that will take him to the plan sheet where the issue was created. If he visits the attachment area, he can also review the image that was taken in the field. He can then start pulling together the resources needed to resolve the issue by the expected due date. So the next time you're heading out to the field, consider adding the BIM 360 mobile app to your smartphone or tablet. Using the app, you can easily access or collaborate on any of your projects at any time from anywhere. 
Would you like to explore additional Autodesk Cloud Collaborative ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the AEC Connection blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.